My love of aviation really started on a trip to Florida when I was young with my family. We were supposed to go to Disney World. We did that, did a lot of swimming. My parents decided Kennedy Space Center is on the itinerary. I went, fell in love with the Saturn V rocket, never was the same since. Went home to school and I became that girl that wanted to become an astronaut. I studied hard in school. I told my guidance counselor at high school, I was like, I want to be an astronaut. She laughed a little and she said, okay, study hard, physics, math, get good grades. And then I got accepted into two aerospace programs. There's two in Canada, one at Ryerson in Toronto and one in Carleton in Ottawa. And I chose Carleton. I took aerospace structures and vehicular design and I focused on this for four years. I chose this major, this course of study in engineering, primarily because A, being a Canadian astronaut is hard, but B, I really like airplanes. Then I got a four-year great experience job in Toronto and I learned more design. I love design. I also love interiors. I love fixing up my house. Enter Embraer, Engineering and Technology Center, where both of the design aircraft and the interior marry up. My job at Embraer is a mechanical design engineer. My colleagues and I get to work on executive jets just like this one, the Legacy 450, every day. We've worked on monuments such as the galley, the lavatory, making sure the side ledge is incorporated. And we're in the plane measuring. We're on the computer designing. It's awesome. One of the coolest experiences I had on the job so far was I was chosen as one of two mechanical design engineers to travel to Brazil, go to airplane heaven and see what it was all about there at the source. Then we took a new interior design project and brought it back to the team here in Melbourne. I completely recommend you've got to study, you've got to pay attention to those books and you've got to get the grades. You've got to know what the end goal is. However, I also really recommend that you not only look at schooling, but you look at extracurricular activities. That was one thing that really got my foothold in the industry, was restoring the Avro Lancaster bomber in Toronto. It was hands-on, I was touching the airplane skin. Not many females would go in there with a rivet gun, and I did, and it was worth it. I'll never forget.